Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, CMG, daily, weekly, time frame, PCLN. After a couple days of healthy consolidation, the bulls showing up today, they looked very strong. If spy bulls go green, PCLN is going to see new all-time highs, in my opinion. That being said, Google reaction to earnings was bearish. Tech sector down a bit. QQQ down a bit. SPY down a bit. So we'll have to see how the market recovers to that bearish reaction and whether or not PCLN is able to get that push for a couple more dollars to that all-time high. Resistance is up at 2009 rounding. And in terms of support, we just established a higher low at 1990. If that breaks, there's a decent amount of downside potential where we have to form a new higher low. And we could see $20 of downside fairly easily if we do break 1990. So if there is market weakness and if there is tech sector weakness and you feel like a potential day trade or a short-term bear trade, if we break that 1990 level, should see some, some solid follow through. Weekly time frame, bulls are trying to hold the upper Bollinger Band over 2002. We'll have to see how that goes the next few days. But as of right now, bulls are above that level, right, right at that level. And I would say more likely than not, we do lose that level of support unless we see the S&P 500 hit new all-time highs. We're on the verge there. So it's entirely possible the bulls buy the dip in the Google reaction like we've seen time and time again. Tomorrow will be very telling once we see how things settle down during regular trading. NVDA getting a little bit toppy. Even though we hit that all-time high, we're leveling out a little bit. We've closed near the low of the day two of the past four days. And we're looking now down at support of 163.91 and 161.30. We have not seen two red days in a row in July. A red day tomorrow would obviously change that and lose exponential support, which has been holding for the past three weeks or past two and a half weeks. So bears in control short term and key 163.91 support to be watching tomorrow to see whether or not we get two red days in a row or not. Weekly time frame, a little bit of weakness at the end of last week. That shows indecision. It is a bearish reversal hanging man candlestick, almost a, a dragonfly doji there, which certainly has been easy to negate and disregard in such a strong market where bulls are really good at disregarding bearish candlesticks. But if we do see some pullback follow through on the daily time frame for NVDA, we will be looking to form a higher low on the weekly perspective compared to 138.58. So that could be a, a $10, $20 pullback as far as the weekly chart is confirmed, and the momentum will get going to the downside if we do break, in my opinion, that low of 161.30. Tesla, beautiful bull break today. So prepared for this move because we've been watching it every single day, watching this tightening range. There were two signals on when to make a bullish entry. The later signal was this daily time frame, the highest price of the bounce, 333.10. Low, high of the bounce, higher low, sideways trading. As soon as we break 333.10, that's the bull signal. Traders saw that. Spike in volume. Everybody jumps in. Bull MACD cross. Close at the high of the day. 3% gains on that signal alone. Close at the high. Looking for a gap fill is a target. 351.50 doesn't mean tomorrow, but that is the bull move gap fill target for this move. The first signal was the bull break of the weekly inside bar. That inside bar broke at 331.65, about $1.45 sooner than the daily chart signal. So multiple bullish signals firing off, giving over $10 of upside potential and giving over 3% of gains in one day. So extremely strong, oversold bounce trying to follow through, which it did. And that market direction certainly had us looking for a bullish break due to sentiment overall. And that's just an example of stalking the trade, just patiently waiting, keeping it on the back burner, checking in every day, keeping it up on your screen. And as soon as that break occurs, bull volume pours in. Netflix on the daily time frame, inside bar on the daily, rejecting from the upper Bollinger Band. Maybe time to consolidate a little bit. If we break 187.01, we will be looking to pull back. Support after that is 80, 182.70. The bulls have built support there uh, two of the last three days. So all about the inside bar and the range that we're watching tomorrow upper bollinger band weekly support is also down at 18170 so 18270 and 18170 a couple support levels to be watching if it is a bear break of that inside bar which i would say is more likely than not at this point seeing the reaction to google earnings
and knowing that the tech sector is going to see a little bit of downside as a result of that. CMG, all-out dump continues almost in single digits on the daily RSI. If we get a bearish reaction to earnings tomorrow, I do like a really nice bounce play. That doesn't mean just get in if we see a bearish reaction, but that means this is going to be one of the most oversold big-name stocks that I've ever seen. And we'll be looking for a bounce just like we saw last time we collapsed due to all of these same issues. So again, this is a reaction to the bearish earnings. If that happens, the flush to the downside with a quick push will put this in single digits in terms of daily RSI levels. So once we find a bottom and see some support established and see a, a bullish reversal candlestick, then we'll be looking for about a 10 to 15% bounce. This is all hypothetical. This is assuming we see a bearish reaction to earnings. So obviously, I'm not going to do anything until we see how the earnings reaction goes and then establish a game plan from there. But the weekly time frame, let's look back. What happened the last time we saw this collapse in relation to bad press? And that was a dump significantly. The, uh, the weekly RSI got down to about 18 or 19. Here we are at 26. If we see a bearish reaction to earnings, we're going to be in the low 20s very quickly. Once we hit bottom, we saw a bounce take place from 400 to 542. That is about a 35% bounce in two months. So keep that in mind. The stock is not going bankrupt. It has a ton of bearish momentum. It has a lot of headwind to get through, but we will bounce. Absolutely, we will see an oversold bounce. The question is just when. And I would rather play a bearish reaction to earnings than a bullish reaction to earnings. I don't want to see a gap up and then try and, and try and get a good entry there. I'd rather see a flush to the downside, make it really brutal, get everybody fearful, and that's when we will see a really nice trade opportunity to the upside. So we'll check back in on everything tomorrow. Thanks for watching and see you soon.